Hello everyone, let's try to solve this question together. So the bill ribbon level are plotted on the EHR chart. The best statement is, pause the slide, take a look. Okay, the correct answer here is, we can discontinue phototherapy and follow the level in 12 to 24 hour. The reason is the last three dots or three bill ribbon level are below the, uh, the curve given for, uh, you know, the risk factors. So even if there are risk factors, you can stop phototherapy. If the points were here, 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 then you might question that, you know, it's above the risk factor line. But here, all points are below, so you can easily discontinue phototherapy. The other point which uh, is highlighted in this question is uh, looking at the albumin level, because albumin level was not available, and this baby is, is already less than 35 weeks, and our guidelines provided by the American Academy of Pediatric is greater than 35 weeks so there is this make this case again questionable but again because the ehr is already made uh, keeping the gestation age in mind so this these curves are reliable so let's go to the next slide and see so the, the uh, acronym which we have to remember is gaiss gas so of course gestation gestation age is provided all the time uh, isoimmunization we are over conscious and we check blood group and type so that is also good and sepsis and significant clinical stability are clinical exam thing in which we do. The only problem is albumin is not readily available in all cases, and that is included in the risk factor. So we overlook albumin, so that's the point we want to make. So whenever you have a case where uh, the dot or the plotting of the bilirubin is questionable, should we do it, should we not do it, always measure albumin and go from there. So I hope uh, this makes sense and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.